This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. the wrestling mayhem show 702 and the dogs are loose uh we are right here in the sorgatron media studios in pittsburgh pa ready to talk professionalized wrestling first from beacon new york the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the wwe he is mad mike you can call me d knob <laughs> the biggest what? knob i know bro d knob yeah w- why oh yeah that's right yeah there we <laughs> You literally just explained that I was that I had my own knob on the yes, board. Yes, he's on he, the D knob. It so. is. There's a knob for him. So for for the pass through for for what's going out through the board on the new board, and it's he he's the D. He's the big D. I, I am I am the big D knob. That's right. That's that right. Exactly correct. Back in studio to preside over another week of Mayhem Mania with a shiny new haircut. Hey, point. It's mainstream, Matt. <laughs> Sorry, someone killed my match last week. No, that didn't happen. I don't make matches. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, is that your impression of Twitter this last week? <laughs> uh, I, it does, felt like last week. Felt like talking mayhem mania. Felt like the week after. Tina's going to be here tonight. We've got a graduated match. Mm-hmm. Punishment is going to be handed out tonight. Nice. Someone's gonna get punished. Nice. I love the Potter's uh, memes that have been popping up that I, I suitably turned into. <laughs> I turned into many Instagrams. We, uh, we eventually need to create a D and D alignment chart for people that have made moves in Mayhem Mania. Ooh, there you go. There you like go. Matt, like Matt has to be cha- chaotic neutral because he's you know just uh, over. Is that what that is? That's a D and D. Okay, good. All right, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that meme was about. Okay, it was amusing, but <laughs> you're just. But I just didn't get the full gist. Yeah, of it. I, I, I didn't know. I think we need to do this at some point. Like, like a- after after this. So, re- okay. Okay. Sounds like it sounds like an off season project for Mayhem Mania. Also back with us, he is the only Mayhemer with a trading card on my desk. Hey. He is uh, Ronnie Starks. Don't mind me, just drinking my tea. <laughs> just. <laughs> Just right well, that's here. That's none of my business. Drinking your tea. <laughs> Ronnie just took a TNA test. Turns out he's oh 100% that oh. dick. It's okay, guys. I didn't get signed. I will <laughs> save another week. Oh, good. I mean, aw. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, oh, good. <laughs> also, back with us, Ziggy Heim Hi. and Ozzy. Hi. A very chill Ozzy. He's just living, you he's know? Just... <laughs> he's just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're here. The dog is here. We're gonna get a doggy update. Easily the best two shot we've ever had on this show. <laughs> Easily far and away. Look at him look up at you. He just <laughs> this is... He's like, Mom, this is wonderful. Unbelievable. This is the best. How am I supposed to focus on anything? All I want to do is just document this dog's visit to the studio. Just, <laughs> exactly. Like, <follow> <laughs> Uh, don't eat that. If so, if you do hear any, uh, uh, don't eat that and screaming. Yeah. That's just that's likely going to happen. If he walks away and you just randomly hear me scream, "What are you eating?" <laughs> and then you hear lots of like mic sounds. That's until you hear, "What are you eating, Ronnie?" Yeah, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and my dog's just sitting here. <laughs> Mouse little pizza. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, where you can find uh, this and other fine, fine uh, podcasts. We recently had some Indie Mayhem shows with Sean Phoenix. Uh, coming up this week, PB Smooth talking about his foundation up there in Erie and, uh, and, and scholarship. And a lot of other guys um, uh, scheduled here for the next few weeks uh you can also subscribe to the wrestling mayhem show on uh, it- itunes uh apple Podcasts, or wherever you find fine fine podcasts and you can also hit us up at that email address good times, good times. Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or 
WMS0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter and uh, the Facebook page and group for Wrestling Mayhem Show and catch us every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live and plenty of other places. We are on the Twitter. We are on the Twitch on IndieWrestling.us. We are on the YouTube and uh, where and and uh, Mike is just dancing just whenever. Uh, <laughs> stretch mode. There he goes. I don't know what. Just it's off. I just see random dancing happening. It's this not is... my fault that you, ju- you just randomly have to look at me. <laughs> Why don't you just look at it? Well, just there you go. Um, <laughs> but uh, what was it? Yeah. So, but the, the main chat room's happening over on the uh, Facebook page. Just like... ask me questions <laughs> about anything. Just no, but anything. Wasn't the dog? We are gonna we're gonna ask. We're Mostly. gonna get a we'll get an official yeah. dog ask update in segment two. But uh, we <laughs> ask questions for Ozzy. Hashtag ask Ozzy. Honestly, ask questions for Ozzy, and he answers in poetry form. Oh, what? Um, we we have a we have a, a dog of the show watching our show right now. Oh, Thank really? God. Excellent. But no, I actually for a while uh had like when I put my first shirt up on Pro Wrestling Tees, I was like, if you send me a screenshot of you bought my shirt, I will have him write poetry to you. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's his talent. You can also <laughs> <laughs> get through this uh, also we are streaming on our, our friends the 405 media.com thank you to our patreon supports guys there's been a lot of shake up in patreon lately there's been a lot of shake up in patreon lately. and booty pictures you know why well, booty, pictures. Been, booty pictures what patreon people uh, put booty oh, pictures I, on patreon well we haven't been, are, wait are you saying I'm, that we need to start putting booty pictures on our patreon we are professionals yeah, sure. Good Good sure. I'm just saying, um you get a little parched all right well what <laughs> get a little parched Sometimes you're thirsty, man. So we sometimes, some... you're thirsty. sometimes you get a little parched. Mayhem it's show thirsty Thursday. Is that what we need to start oh, dropping oh, right oh, now? Yeah. yeah. Sorg gets thirsty every day sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Tits out Tuesday. Tits out Tuesday. Do you want me to uh, play? All right. I'll take horses, off my job. Like, fuck me. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard. <laughs> Anyways. The Ronnie people... is doing the tuck right now. All the people <laughs> reconsidering their uh, probably just the patreon.com slash wrestling man show. Our friends at the fan of the show level. Oh. Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby, FJ Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammerfist. Our friends at the Poppy Club, Bradley Brothers, David, Dave Potter, Tyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. Our friends at the Pizza Club. Whoa, this is getting up there. Uh, Doc Remedy and the WrestlingRevolution.com, who is responsible for all those great images for Mayhem Mania, by the way. And at mm. the manager level, shit, guys. At the manager level, our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com, Mad Mike, and Farnsworth Investments. No nope. Farnsworth Investments. That's right. Sorg, Love it. Yes. Sorg, I need to remind you. Mm-hmm. I am a super manager. A super manager. Why are you a super manager? Because I am donating $1 more than those manager bitches. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, first of all, I am a super manager. I think we are going to have a, I think I need to have a call amongst the managers at some point here. That's fine. You can call those two people. You and I can have a, a, a sword to super manager chat. What? <laughs> I'm not a manager, sword. I am no, a but super- you also get everything like below you, too. So you are also included oh. in that because you're the next level. Just right, like you right. get, just like you're going to get Thursday, Thursday, and tits out Tuesday coming up soon. Like, oh, I get like, to, so I get to bully them around. I yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a pizza club level idea, though. Until I decide to put money in and get to your level, pal. There you go. And then we're hey, gonna don't have a sing it, thing. Bring it. <laughs> Until I decide. Ooh. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. Very scary. Maybe five Ooh. minutes from now. You know. As soon as that check clears. <laughs> uh, but you guys can support the show. And again, there are uh, some rewards going coming up in the next month, I believe. Patreon in the Patreon bank. Patreon in the, the bank. Remember, longer tenured Patreons get preferential treatment in Patreon in the bank. So don't come rolling in with that $1, $1 uh, Patreon uh, um, uh, d- donation at, at, like like two days before Patreon in the bank. You're going to be at the back ass end of the line store yeah get in now that's why mad mike is in got in early because he learned his lesson mm-hmm. 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 no learning to play the game um so it's uh, all first, about the game and how you play it yeah. so they say so they say so the first thing this week uh i think the biggest thing for this week we pontific- pontificate a little bit about uh the show last night i think we okay, have a, oh no dog escape 
Wait for, wait for it. What are you eating? Oh, yeah. Give it 30 seconds. Give it a minute. Uh, NXT TakeOver Portland this past weekend mm-hmm. was pretty fantastic. Mm-hmm. Dog is in the back corner. Dog is in the back corner. Wait for it. <laughs> I'll get my camera. Get your camera. Get your camera. He's... This, this is show a, is gonna not go anywhere because I'm just worried about like, <laughs> three, two, one. Everybody's what are you me. eating? <laughs> Welcome to the newest game show on the internet. How long what? is it gonna take me for me for me to yell at my dog? What are you eating? Internet, you answer the question. What are you eating? What is eating? What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he just sniffing everything? He's following him with a camera. Why are you like a uh, mainstream man oh, is documenting this cam. dog. We have an Aussie cam. We'll just have to split, place that in a little later, I guess. Is he also live on Facebook? Right I think now, maybe he's. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> like his own Facebook chat. <laughs> Anyways, NXT Portland, Ronnie, you seem the least distracted. What did you think of that this weekend? Uh, I thought the show was very good. I mm-hmm. thought it was really good. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer that I said Uh-oh. the other oh, day. Oh, no, you did. But oh, wait, Ronnie. the finish was very spotty. Of the main, of the main uh, uh, event? Yes. Uh, how many false finishes can you possibly do? And then be like, hey, just kidding. We're going to hit you with a belt I, instead. I wanted to get into this because it, it, when, when I saw that, but I didn't want to do it on Facebook. I, I, feel like, I feel like your NXT is the false finish show, right? Hasn't it well, always been? It has been, but they were just trying to one-up everybody's matches because mm-hmm. the first match was great. The second match was great. I'd die for Keith Lee. Keith Lee is great. Oh, my God. Uh, so- what is the COVID. He's so mm-hmm. freaking good, too. So, so uh, again. I have, I have a question. Is this just an Adam Cole thing? Mm. Because like that, that's the thing about me that want that I wonder about. Like, because Adam, like the false finishes, you don't see a lot of them in like the undercard matches. No, like you'll you'll see some, but not like too too many. Those like, are more reversals, in my opinion. Like those are more reversal matches. Like mm-hmm. yeah, but like I wonder if. Is it just because I think it might just be because Adam Cole doesn't have like a like he has he has a well established finisher like the last shot, but Mm -hmm. it's not very impactful. You know what I mean? He can't leave. All all I'm saying is the Panama sunrise on the floor was just unnecessary and it led to nothing. And it was like, all right, Canadian destroyer the floor and he kicks out. So it's a little bit of the yeah Canadian destroyer is a transitional move kind of discussion yeah, that's come up. Who would have thought? Who would have thought like, that would it's, happen? It's not just Adam Cole that does it. Fucking no, Goldberg no. Does yeah. that shit now. But this the is also Rock and Roll Express does that. But this is also a crowd that eats that up. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, this is the crowd that ate that up in New Japan. This is the crowd that ate that up yeah. at Ring of Honor when that's what they were delivering there. So I, I mean, you have. I mean, this is not your broad audience. Mm-hmm. But this is that audience, mm-hmm. and they're delivering, right? It's a very, like, just what's your flavor? Do you like chocolate or vanilla better? Yeah, yeah. It's, one like... Of, like, it's a very broad spectrum thing, I think, like, depending on a crowd. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, because everybody's like, yeah, fucking ratty, man. <laughs> but, like, well, yes, I, obviously. But I loved it. The batch was great. Mm-hmm. It's just too many falsies for me. You know what? Uh, Ronnie, I'm not going to leave you on this island. I'm going to jump in, too, now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, if you noted during the uh, Balor Gargano match, there was an entire first act focused around Johnny's knee that mm-hmm. was just gone by like halfway through the match. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, Honestly, and, 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 and like, and, and like, we're, we're nitpicking at this mm-hmm. point because the show mm-hmm. was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, when you're sitting there and you're like, you know, and you're already kind of like, this is a six match takeover. This thing's going to be kind of a haul, you know, which is stupid to say. It's only a three hour show, but you know. And that means For they're going to give every match time. Yeah, and yeah. you're sitting there and you're like, do we really need 10 extra minutes on this 30-minute Ga- uh, Gargano-Balor match? I mean, I don't think we need this, you know? Yeah. Just I think thought. they could have given that extra time to... If I were them, I would have given that extra time, take a little bit out of the Balor and Gargano, and given it to the street fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The street fight because that match time. was awesome. I think it was awesome. It just ended a little bit it needed like five extra minutes man okay bye 
<laughs> dogs on the move. Dogs on See the ya. move. No, I, I do. I thought that Street Fight was, was awesome. Was. And the ending was like, I was kind of like, oh. It was very because abrupt. Because I felt too. like if they would have if it, if they would have left it to the two of them, to Dakota and Tegan, to just finish that story themselves, I would have been like, probably went over the moon over that match. <laughs> but the ending kind of like, it, it just it takes you in a direction a you weren't ready to go in, you know? Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think the ending also would have been better served if it was someone we knew. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like that if was it was someone really... we knew from, because I thought for a hot second, and I know pretty much all the female roster on NXT, I thought for a hot second that was Victoria. Mm-hmm. And I was popped. Like, oh, what? <laughs> like I freaked out for a nanosecond, and then I'm like, I would wait, that's Randy Gonzalez. <laughs> it's okay. And then you're like, oh, uh, sure. um, some thoughts from the chat room here while we're at it. Um, and and uh, uh, Matt's all on dog cam again. Uh, Chris out there says when Champa looked like he was about to cry when he pinned Cole and he kicked out was the best. It was I so mean, good. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, like, like, like for the people that aren't over affected by false finishes and stuff. I mean, they take you on an emotional ride, and mm-hmm. the guys are selling the shit out of this. And it's just mm-hmm. so, it gets no, you into it. No, don't eat that. <laughs> Dog, dog found something. Dog found something. Um, he tries to eat wires Tina, sometimes. Tina's Sorry. pointing out. Uh, Junior actually pointed out we should have saw Johnny's turn coming when he came out in Carnage gear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, that's true. I thought that was just kind of a play on Finn. Yeah. You know, with his Carnage days, uh, uh, with his versions of the, uh, oh no, with the demon. But why not both? It yeah, can be both. Why not? Why it can not? clearly be both. Mm-hmm. I have a thought on the Gargano. Or the Champa and Cole match in the fact that like it was a great like shocker ending to the show and everything like that. But how we were talking about like falsy and falsy and falsy. It kind of made the ending feel like anticlimactic. Yes. Because like considering all the big things that were hit by the time it was just like boom head like head to that and like. It, that's what killed him it really kind of soured me on the thought that i was like that's what killed him mm-hmm. that's it the, like I think it the was only the broken heart is what defeated tomas it, Ciampa. Oh, it was not the only, any the move only, to, certainly right. no move delivered by adam cole could defeat no, champa not <laughs> oh, Mike? i i, I kind of liked that because if you watch that finish like the whole series of events from all of, like the ref bump and the undisputed era coming out and all that stuff it was ex- almost spot for spot the exact same thing that Johnny went through when he beat Adam Cole. Mm. Sure, that makes like sense. like and and that's the thing that I've loved about the the Champa Gargano stuff. There's always been that duality. Mm-hmm. There's always been that duality of it, and I think like like Johnny coming out when Champa was literally about to overcome the exact same odds that he did yeah i think that makes it even more and i think it's also i think it also speaks to the fact that i don't and i'd have to watch it again i don't think gargano used the title to win mm-hmm. yeah i think i think it might also speak to the fact that champa that gargano saw champa trying to take the easy way out and not earn and not do it himself like yeah. johnny did so i think we could all agree that uh at NXT WrestleMania weekend, it's going to be uh, Gorgano versus Ciampa versus Cool. No, and that's uh-uh. I don't think so. No, nope, nope. Gargano versus Ciampa, sixty man Iron Man match. Oh, okay I'm calling see, my I, shot. I have, I think I have a better idea. I want to see Gargano versus Ciampa, loser leaves NXT because both of them have like publicly stated that like they never want to leave NXT like they've turned like, down contracts yeah, yeah like Champa like the lateral move you know to the to the other shows Gargano's been his NXT for life hey, thing hey, you Matt. force one of those guys to leave that show like that is a high stakes uh, stipulation hey, what why not why not both why not both leave? 60 Iron, 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 Man Iron Man match. Iron Man match. Iron Man match. Iron Man match. Sure. I mean, let's I, go. I, let's go. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just feel like from like a uh, from a stakes perspective, that would take it to another level. From the stipulation thing, Mike, you and I were there. We yeah. saw TakeOver New Orleans in person. Oh, yeah. Nothing's ever going to top that. I mean, I don't <laughs> think anything's ever going to top that. Maybe they Re- will. Refresh. Which was this again? I'm, this no, is, I'm telling you, Iron This Man. was the um, uh, uh, NXT TakeOver New Orleans uh, was two years ago and it was uh 
Champa and Gargano, and it was Gargano having been having lost his like last shot at the NXT Championship um, to the point where he said he would leave NXT if he lost this championship one, match you, against. You mean uh, you mean the shirt Amos. I'm wearing? The shirt yeah, I'm exactly. wearing, Matt. And so Champa costs costs him the match. Johnny is kicked out of NXT, so they have an unsanctioned match to determine if Johnny gets back into NXT. Mm-hmm. And I mean freaking brilliant like um, that was, that atmosphere champa man. comes out to no music and gets <laughs> serenaded by like f you champa as he's coming to the ring like it it was like his coming out to no music was so genius that yeah. was mm-hmm. magical um it was what they wanted it to be for ziggler but it just never worked yeah yeah mm-hmm. that was lame <laughs> and then they gave him a fedora now and it's like <laughs> you you, you Took it to another level of lame. I think, and now they, now they have him be the third lead in a romantic comedy on SmackDown. Oh. <laughs> oh. He needs to just get out of WWE. He's the third wheel in a rom-com movie. Uh. Yeah. Well, he, he also is kind of on Miz and Mrs. He, I know he's the Sean William Scott of SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Also, <laughs> still on the co- topic of NXT, have, I've talked about this on Twitter but have we all noticed that, like, at least once every NXT show? Don't do this to me. This is going to sound but like subliminal messages on the <laughs> podcast audio listeners. At it's least gone. once every NXT show, Nigel McGuinness has to talk about how handsome someone is. He said Adam Cole was handsome. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's hey. a lot of handsome I, men on that show. But, like, every I mean, he's single not wrong, he's but... like, he's successful. He's a handsome young man. And I'm like, I mean, I I appreciate you throwing on the compliments, but <laughs> I also like. I mean, maybe it's been a while since he's done it, but I like it whenever like Maro is like just piling on, like some heel is like just getting like hammered, and Maro is like, "He deserves every bit of this," and Nigel's like, "I don't know, Maro, if he deserves to have like a crane dropped on him." <laughs> right? I mean, like, that's really, a little you know, fucked up, man. A little far. <laughs> they did that in the street fight. Yeah, I'm sure. They, they, I'm sure they, they went there. Yeah. Well, they? no, they, there was. There was. I remember very specifically when yeah. it was. Like, um, Maro kept piling on that the Dakota guy was deserving everything she got. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "Does he, she deserve to die, though?" Yeah, he's got like the chair wrapped around her neck, and Maro's <laughs> like, "He's it, gonna it was, get what she deserves." That no, that was the <laughs> point where he where he flipped. Yeah. Like, like Tegan put her on the table and like Dakota Kai is reaping what she oh that's too far. Like, like oh, never mind. Like, I don't know, Maro. At the table. Like it's a bit too much. Oh Potter, Potter points out. Well, I mean Adam Cole is dating a dentist, so he does have a nice smile. Ah mm. uh, I don't I don't but, know. Um, she doesn't, she doesn't seem very good at dentistry if you watch <laughs> Oh, But yeah. did you know she's a dentist? <laughs> I didn't know. She's a shoot dentist. Well, she's now, dentist. now she's definitely a dentist because she's always looking down in the mouth. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? What? Uh, okay. Oh. She's looking down in the mouth sword. I, I, Nothing uh, goes over my head because I will catch it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. No. God damn it. So your joke failed. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. No, it didn't fail. You guys just didn't laugh. My name is Ozzy. <laughs> Somebody out here. That's My name is Ozzy. I That's don't okay. know English. It, the dog I don't know it. English. The dog's good with it. Yeah. I laugh, but that's because I don't know English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else? Wow. Now your audition for Glow was pretty great. <laughs> I don't know why my dog has like a Russian accent. <laughs> to connect you, somebody from the original Glow just. Oh, Svidanya. Somebody from the original Glow just friended on Facebook one of my friends, and I'm like, "Are they trying to audition you? What's Ooh. happening right now?" I love that. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, who takes on Cole next? What do you do with Cole? Finn Balor. Finn. I guess so. You yeah. Think? Yeah. I mean, you could be well. What might about- be short tracking it, but you could work dreaming if you want to. You could work dreaming, yeah. Does I mean, anyone understand that storyline? What dream? No. I, it it, it seems to scared. me dream is being a very, n- very nasty person right now. Like, <laughs> I th- are we just like deciding that like heel and face doesn't really matter here <laughs> because know. like undisputed era is gonna get cheered no matter what happens. Mm. So they're just like. You're just a shitty dude, and someone else is doing something shitty to you too. Like, well, I mean, if you think about it, a lot of faces in WWE have done 
really terrible things. Hogan was. Oh, absolutely. Hogan was kind of always an asshole. Yeah. I mean, first of all, what? he is in my Hogan. mind, Velveteen Dream can do no wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, Velveteen I think is. he is everything. Mm-hmm. Isn't the um, but but the track bag isn't Velveteen Dream reacting to getting put on the shelf by by Ryan? yeah, like, like, they yeah, did that, in his career, so yeah, so that I mean, that's a comeback, so he's like pushing it too far, but yeah. in his mind, it's not pushing it too he's far. He's just like, well, hey, you put me on the shelf, so how do I to sleep with your wife? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and I mean, somewhere and Nigel's put... going, I don't know, Maro, it seems a bit much. I mean, and Maro's like, he deserves it. Like, it's oh, he's right. got the kid on the tights. I mean, it sounds like a plot to always sunny in Philadelphia, I might... it really does. Yeah, I mean, he might as well just you know, kidnap his wife or something, you know? just like everyone's kind of a bad. Person Ronnie, in this. nobody also, does abduction <laughs> angles. That's ridiculous. Is Dominic Velveteen like, Dream yeah. Son now? What's Dude, that? Is Dominic Velveteen Dream Son now? <laughs> no, he has to win a ladder match for that. <laughs> he has okay. to win him in a ladder match. Dominic needs to be hanging from the ceiling. By the As, way, by the way, the WWE Untold, where they're talking to Ray and, and Dominic about that storyline, mm-hmm. is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Has oh, anyone yeah. on this show ever talked about how um, uh, Dominic? Looks like if Walter had a SoundCloud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I. Oh my God. I. When when Dominic first came out, I'm like, why is Walter here? It's like he looks like if Walter was a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The Imperium remix. <laughs> Buy my <mine laughs> album. Um, <laughs> Tina in the chat room is saying, uh. That Velveteen Dream is just being ravishing Rick Rude, just with hints of babyface. I'm like, just imagine <laughs> ravishing Rick Rude as a babyface. Sort. Oh, listen, no, wait, 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 wait. I also want to point it out, makes out a, perfect sense. I like, get it. Like, okay, <laughs> Rude was a heel, right? The ladies were cheering him. The well, ladies yeah. were cheering him. Yes, but I it mean... was a very hollow cheer. I mean, it was very <laughs> oh no, face no. level. That, that, watch, watch those reactions again. Those are not hollow cheers. <laughs> Those that, are that, I don't weird. think they're cheering his personality, Mike. That that's all I'm saying. Is palpable, Matt. <laughs> He's he was a good looking man. Nigel, <laughs> Ni- Nigel would have had a lot of great things to say about him, Mike. <laughs> 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 I don't know if he deserves that. I don't know. I don't know. He's a good looking man. He's a good looking man, sorry. Uh, Potter's saying Dream doing normal heel stuff. Wouldn't it be uh, Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles stuff? That was your favorite era, uh, uh, Matt. Oh, Wendy. Yes. Yeah, that was home invasion. <laughs> oh, my God. Samoa yes. Joe. Oh, Samoa Joe wasn't trying to sleep with Wendy. He was trying to home invasion Wendy. <laughs> yeah, it was just he, his intentions were not clear. <laughs> <laughs> his intentions were not clear. <laughs> Either way, they were suspect, but not clear. Joe, Joe, you've got to be specific. What are you looking for here? <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, we'll talk about more stuff. We'll get dog updates, too, uh, and find out what's going on with the Aussie. Yes. Sword. yes. We- we call them pup dates. Pup dates. Pup dates. Oh, dates. We're going to get the that. official pup date from Ziggy. Aussie mandates. And Aussie. <laughs> licking, just he licking. licks constant. Aussie mandates. <laughs> Just like, you're, trying like, <laughs> you're trying to cover his mouth. <laughs> like, I'm you just see like, the tongue like sticking up. Because <laughs> he likes licking hands. <laughs> so he's just like. Yes, it's yes. happening. Oh, there's so yep. many gifts from this one. Um, I can't, and it will be all over everywhere because I just want gifts and photos of me and my dog all the time. You always seem to be gift every time you come on the show. So yeah, my last gift is a gift that I still. Oh, use the what the fuck? It's a great gift. <laughs> Wait, but what if I? It I can make it one with better the with the dog. Oh my god! With the dog's mouth saying, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> That's a visual for you guys. <laughs> Just the tongue sticking uh, out with it. <laughs> Dave is asking. Dave is asking if we're calling Home Invasion Tits Out Tuesday now. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, well, we, I, we're invading your homes every Tuesday, everyone. That's right, as we have been for 700 episodes. Anyways, guys, hey, you know what is also invading your home? Indie wrestling, indie wrestling. Us, indie wrestling. Network. What a segue! That was a really good segue. Hey, you can check out a lot of great stuff. Um, I know the internet has been going crazy over J Rock winning the RWA Championship this past weekend. Give it up one time. Uh, give it up one time for. But West he gives Newton. it up so many times. Yes. He gave it up. He gave up a big one 
Well, AIDS is the one that gave it up, actually. Uh, but anyways, go check out that. Go check out uh, Dragon Ball Daniel Eads uh, from Revenge Pro the weekend before. Uh, that's on IndieWrestling.us on uh, on the VOD and the digital downloads. Indie Wrestling Network has Ren- Renegade Wrestling Alliance. You can fi- get some fine, fine Ronnie Starks commentary on Black Diamond Wrestling at the <laughs> Diamond in the Rough <laughs> Rumble, as well as what else did we do that weekend? Rise Wrestling was that weekend. A yeah. great match between Lee Moriarty and MV Young. Uh, a lot of other great stuff on that show. My question I was is, on that show. You were on that show. In case you were wondering. Yeah, hey, Ziggy was on that show. I did stuff there. <laughs> what did you do on that show? I was in the tag team. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the dog. Not with the dog, though. Soon. When's the dog Soon. coming? <laughs> the mascot. Actually, I'm going to start bringing him to shows whenever he's like, I'm not worried about him like. Eating everything? Yeah. So I'm just gonna babysit. You should call yourself Mixed Breed yeah. Challenge. What, what, mixed Breed Challenge. Mixed Breed coming challenge. soon. We can start our own Facebook show. And mixed Breed so Challenge. Uh, it'll it'll work. It'll so be fine. Yes. My question is: Has Lee ever had a bad match? And the no. answer is no. 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 The answer no. is no. Entirely no. Because Lee is fantastic. I mean. And may I just say he's a good-looking man. <laughs> Okay, no, <laughs> that's gonna be the new thing now like we just have to say it about he's everything. handsome he's handsome he's handsome he's, a handsome he's handsome <laughs> even women just call him handsome <laughs> we still gotta get lee his uh his love show that he won't let us do apex of it. love he hates it so much been pitching it for the network we were talking about it at qcw on sunday and he's like we're not doing that i'm like no we're doing it mm-hmm. he's like we're not doing it um i also i also there might have been another reality show I pitched for him too that's coming up here. So yeah, I feel like this yes. is a good chance to mention that Lee's going to Tampa. Going to Tampa. He is good for him. He's not mm-hmm. the only one from around here who's uh, going PB down. PB Smooth is PB going Smooth. down. They're do- both doing for well, the culture. We talked to so so on Indie Mayhem show this this week. We did talk to PB. When are we talking about his scholarship uh, 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 fund that he has? Uh, but also we talked about his his involvement in the uh, Faye Jackson p- uh, pajama not pajama sweatpants pajama. sweatpants party great, yeah. great pajama great party sweatpants the sweatpants sword. party sweatpants sweatpants party here. Jambo parties across the street. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> what? No, I don't know. I lost Palmas? Anyway. <laughs> what? Is that why the cops were there earlier? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, that all makes sense. Oh, no. Oh, they were. Oh. Yeah, they were. Segway. And I missed it. Yeah. Right. yeah oh, a, they were there for a long time. It's not your concern anymore. It is, uh, this is not my concern. No, no. Oh, not your concern oh, not anymore. Uh, it's, it's, it's small that's none of my business. There's nothing business. left in there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I just needed a prop. It's just, it's just, it's just uh, so is that business. is that it? Um, what? Just Lee and PB Smooth. Anyone else from around here? Going uh, down wait, wait, wait. So 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 Lee's doing the GCW for the Culture Show. Yep. So it's PB Smooth. Um, I'm sure there's more people going. Mm-hmm. Dabrowski's always down there, but he's probably down there for the Ring of Honor stuff. I would guess that Posada will be down there somewhere. He seems yeah, to always show he up. He seems to be yes. Many a weekend. He seems to show up. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. That had a bad connotation. No, 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 no. no. No, so I, I just, just showing I, up, you know. I remember just just Brandon is just going to facade all over the place. Hey, just here. trying to mind oh, your own business, and facade jumps off the balcony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I ran into him twice down in New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into him at a holiday party, and I'm like, who booked you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um anyways so uh you know yeah i mean it's all rolling out but yeah i I think a lot of friends of the show are going to be uh rolling down there and it's always good to see what that news is um and and who makes a uh a uh impression it's like it's like mini mania Mm -hmm. no you're right i mean it's not just about getting down there and getting booked it's about getting your gif on the internet you know it's 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 a chance to really like up your stock Mm -hmm. you know Shoot your shot. So good mania. luck to them. Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot your, your shot. shot mania. Shoot your shot mania week. Yeah. Jeez, I'm gonna. So I'm <laughs> gonna be down there in a couple of weeks, and I'm just gonna take. Uh, I know. I know. There's a couple of play- things happening in Lakeland, Florida, where I'm doing work for three days. So I'm just gonna take pictures in front of all the venues a month before. <laughs> I'm like, I was here, guys. <laughs> I have my fate. My where's the show? Where's the show? <laughs> What happened? Are you going to NXT? Are you in there, Shane? You just stand there. Yes, like- I. I do have tickets for NXT the first week of March. Nice. So Sorg, I will Sorg. be. You need to get there as early as you possibly can so you can sit front row so we can all see you. It's all general. So I, I don't know because it's general and I think the floor is different and was sold out. So I, I think I'm stuck in the stands. Okay, so. but still. On the hard you, cam side. you need to get on the right side. Yeah. 
You yeah. see everyone yeah. in hard cam side. It's yeah. full yeah. sale. It My ain't plane big. gets in at exactly. two thirty in the afternoon in Orlando. The one time I went to the taping, man, I was on like for a uh, month straight. It's all you could I see. I technically don't well, have a hotel yet, but we'll figure that out too. I'm gonna need and you your car. Yeah. Yeah. Or my car yet. We've all slept. Maybe Hogan will put you up, brother. Sleep in my car. Mostly, I don't have a lot of equipment with me, so uh, I need a safe place. Uh, anyways, oh hey, we got an update. Marcus Mann says. Uh-oh. Let's see. Remy LeVay, Atticus Coger, Derek Direction, Dr. Dan, and the whole AIW crew. Of course, Thunder in Paradise going to be down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's pretty awesome, man. With AIW ice, going down with there, right? Ice Train on the show. Of course, Flash Norton. Flash Norton. Well, he's been on there before. I don't know. I don't, I think they've had to had Flash Norton. Oh, man. Oh, the, hot and the, cold is, right. the hot and the cold are great. both so intense. If it was a reunion... A fire and ice reunion. Yeah. Cool. Come on, Sorg. I'm down with the it. The hot and the cold are both so intense. Fire and ice. Put them together. It just makes sense. Hot oh, ice is the best wow. of the Wow. You've been watching some old WCW, haven't you? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Frozen, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> let man. it go. I hear the cold never blows. Let's see if the anyway. chat room got that joke. Hey, let's see if... <laughs> Let's see if everyone on the show can strike out on a joke tonight. Let's see if we can all do it. That's where we're going. <laughs> right? Apparently, that's where it's heading. Uh, Ziggy. Hi. Let's get a doggy update. So, you're. <laughs> Sorg. God damn it. It's a pup date. Pup day. I'm sorry. Mike, you know, Mike, listen, listen. Mike has been. Sorg, I'm trying to brand something here, okay? <laughs> Update trademark. Listen, Mike yes. has Mike has been the biggest advocate for helping out the, the dog. The it pup makes dates. me happy and I, I appreciate it. Mike, I'm gonna let you ask the questions up for the for the pup date. Yes, please. Okay. Um uh I have a very important question. Yes. I've been thinking about this ever since the couple hours ago when I thought this might be a possibility. Yes. Um biggest question right now. Uh-huh. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? boy? Who's a good boy? I don't think he can hear you. I know he can't. <laughs> but God but damn it! That's you got to put the headphones on him. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Ozzy? Are you a good boy? So yes, funny. you are. <laughs> <laughs> he reacted a little bit. Yeah. He's like, mom. Do you what hear those fuck? voices? <laughs> He's like, Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I I love that. He's just like, I, I where is I, it? I, where are you? I couldn't help myself. I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so um, <laughs> as soon as you said we were going to ask Ozzy questions, that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> It's the first thing I'm like, nope, that's the first draft. That's what we're going with. That's, that's where the we're going. <laughs> but it did kind of work. Yep. <laughs> His face was just that of pure confusion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've done that, that to my I've done that to my dog before though. We'll um we'll put the speakerphone on and we'll just start calling his name. He'll be like, What? What's that going on? He's like, God? Huh? <laughs> my dog doesn't fall for it. My dog doesn't fall for it at all, unfortunately. So how is the dog? So first of all, a little background for people that maybe have not followed because this has been like the social media storm over the last week is yeah. how is Ozzy doing? Yeah. What happened to Ozzy? Um, and I know there was a kind of a campaign to help with uh, his, his uh, yes. situation. Yes. Um, Ozzy is a little dumpster so he likes to eat everything as we have proven here in this office yes. by finding and several plastic things always so he ended up eating something he shouldn't have got real sick and ended up having to have a surgery to get it cut out of him oh no um it was a lot of money and a very expensive mistake that my son has made um but he is doing so much better now uh as you can see he just has a pretty badass scar now um and the ladies love it absolutely i wish like he's super naked on his stomach though and it's like kind of weird and we're waiting for it to grow back because he's just wearing a crop top now like Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. just looks like he's wearing a crop top Mm -hmm. but um he's doing great he can go back to daycare uh he can go play with all the other pups and uh yeah he's getting pretty back to normal and i'm very happy that he's no longer just like zonked out on pain medications and has a cone on his head (laughs) i felt so bad when i saw the cone pictures dude but the thing was like the one great no you stay with me 
You're not moving. <laughs> um, I like how you talking to Ozzy is kind of like ASMR. It, yeah, yeah. You're not moving. Stay with me. This is abduction ASMR. <laughs> And we have a new Patreon tier. <laughs> abduction ASMR. Oh, we don't we don't do abduction storylines, man. <laughs> but uh, but you have to have it. Um, but yeah, he's doing great. He uh, the great thing about having the cone though was that like it was really easy to stop him from getting into things that he wasn't supposed to because he just like push him back by the cone. <laughs> <laughs> it was really sad and watching him go up the stairs was really funny but really sad because he'd go up one stair and then get stuck so he'd like <laughs> oh <laughs> i'm chin, laughing chin but up. that's bad chin up uh we like, this is bad we uh uh we tried putting a cone on our on our cat um and it went he tore through the house and just bumped into everything <laughs> it he, was very sad it was like not he didn't make as much destruction with the cone as we figured he would, mm. but he just genuinely didn't understand like the spatial awareness mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he definitely had to take it outside to like, or take it off to go outside because like he couldn't sniff. Mm-hmm. You're staying with me. I love you. You're staying with me. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just quoting Casper. <laughs> Be still. Be still. Um, yeah, he couldn't sniff with it, which really bugged him because his favorite thing to do is sniff things because he wants to find things that he can eat that aren't his. And yeah, the time, like the day I knew he was finally back to 100% was the day he started finding stuff and just like ripping at cardboard again and eating everything. Hmm. So. Hmm. The day that he became a bad boy was the day I knew he was a hundred percent good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now that cool. we're in this position, look at his underbite. Look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> He's so upset with me. Mm-hmm. Come, no, no. He's like, let me go. Okay, play and... No wait. And... Yeah, well, and... Oh, and... Oh, okay, man, there he goes. Okay. okay. He's bye. like, you have talked shit about me for too long, okay. mom. I gotta go. Oh, he's he's on his own chair now. He's in his own. Oh shirt. my god! Let's look at him. He's just hanging. That's great. He's Guys. adorable. We'll have some pictures on the internet. Guys. Matt's taking care of this. He just, he was like, "Fuck off, mom! I'm grown," and just <laughs> left and sat in his own <laughs> chair. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's so great. Okay, he's just licking this chair. Oh my god. That's us now. That's us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. He found a chair. I, I, Wicked likes that chair too. He just like hangs out there. Oh no, Ozzie, he's exploring. He's gonna. He's coming at Jeff Jarrett. Ozzie. Oh no, he's coming for you. Hey, to be us. fair, it couldn't happen to a nice. To guy. be fair, yes. <laughs> so. right. One, two, three, yay! <laughs> yeah. Well, that worked. Yeah, right. <laughs> Matt knows how to take and pictures of kids and animals. So, uh, Ziggy, well, I mean, I, well, this is a wrestling show, and all we talked about is your dog. That's uh, <laughs> so, uh, what, what's new? What's going on? I know you guys uh, teaming up with Sean Phoenix again. We talked with him about that on Indie Mayhem yeah. show last week. Um, Yeah, then 2020 has definitely been a new venture, and I can't stop staring at my dog seeing what he's doing. I know, it's very distracting. But, um, <laughs> it's definitely been a new adventure trying to really branch out and do new things. Okay, see you, dude. Um. <laughs> And really, I'm just definitely spending this year trying to advance in the best ways I can and really just, like, find myself in wrestling because I've already sort of gone through the transformation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, now it's just kind of doing what else I can. Mm-hmm. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, it's been... a. Uh, pretty good so far lots of (laughs) adventures and trying out new stuff and sort of trying to break my own boundaries if you will this is a good test to see how you do with a wrestling interview while trying to keep an eye on your dog from eating things (laughs) 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 all right um yeah because 2019 is what you you became ziggy yes over the year and he's peeing he's what is it really? Yeah. Uh oh. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, 
someone needed a bio break. And oh, okay. We didn't get to the break quick enough, apparently. <laughs> so. I mean, he's like, I have a hard out. Oh, I'm sword. sorry. Give me a sec. <laughs> the beat on wires. On that note, I guess we'll give a shout out. This is a perfect time to talk about food. Uh, our good friends at Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, four locations here in Pittsburgh. Please check. You know what? This is probably the first time somebody's peed on this podcast. Um, so, um, no. Wait. What? No. Jimmy DeMarco? Jimmy DeMarco? That potent. might be. Yeah, very it's potent. always a question. It's a compliment in the dog world. He's marked a territory. But please go check out our friend Slice on Broadway. Uh, I'm sure Ozzy has found pieces of that already. Um, no, Ozzy, don't. Don't eat that. Don't no, eat that. That's a that. thing. Yeah. That's a thing. We're going to go to break here, yeah, round yeah. up the dog, and be back with Mayhem oh, Mania. Oh, 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 Holy shit. <laughs> Ozzy, how much did you drink? Holy crap, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. This is Johnny Gargano, the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and the whole shebang. Not Johnny Bananas, by the way, even though I like to eat them. And you're watching the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The dogs of mayhem have been contained. We are here sense. with Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy, let, I'm... Let the dog of war. <laughs> Ziggy's here, too. That's yeah. <laughs> but Ozzy's the star. You're right. Like honestly, I can't. I mean, really. I mean, come wrong. on, come on. I can't. Even uh, say I put <laughs> also Roddy Starks. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, he's around. Uh, a mainstream Matt. I haven't got abducted. How's so it going? Like and we got we got some people on the line, hanging out. They're here. We'll, we'll, we'll let you introduce them as you introduce. Mayhem. Mania. Mania. That's not Point. a sign for that. All right. Close enough. Uh, it's a kind of a competitive thought experiment. The goal is to create the best WrestleMania card possible within the boundaries of the current reality in which we live. That means everybody that we're using comes in their current physical, contractual, pharmacological, emotional, etc. cetera, uh, state. So if somebody uh, has a broken leg, oh, you can't oh, use oh, them. If somebody oh. works for another company, you can't use them. Yes, Sorg. Existential? Existential state. Maybe. I don't know. I just finished BoJack, so it was kind of on my mind. Yeah, okay. that's oh, fair. Yeah. Oh, it was a good geez. finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, we're working on a eight match card. You may notice there are only seven matches on <gasps> this board because what? we finally had our first match graduate to our super card. Um, that basically means that it gets locked in, tucked away, so that um, we could clearly it works. So basically, um, if a match survives three rounds of Mayhem Mania without being altered in any way, we send it off to the super card where it can live forever, and then we open up a slot. Um, to put in another match and mess around with that one, and the person who created the match that graduates uh -huh. sword, they get reward, rewards, rewards. many rewards, mm -hmm. many fun things to do. So the creator of the match that graduated, I even mentioned what it is. Um, it is Asuka and Kyrie Shane and Io Shirai versus Mia Yim, Kaylee Ray, and Tegan Knox. Oh, hell yeah. that's the match that graduated. That's the first one that graduated. So good job by Tina, Mother Dragon. So let's hello, bring hello. Tina in. Tina, congratulations on creating the first match to graduate in Mayhem Mania. Thank you, you get thank you. reward. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, for the first reward, uh, for those of you who've been following for a few weeks. Um, so like basically if Vince McMahon can do it, you can do it. Um, so any person who's who Vince McMahon can get his hands on to put into WrestleMania, um, you can use them. But there are some exceptions. Um, there are six people slash things that remain in space jail and are off limits to be used. Um, now, we used to have eight. Actually, we used to have nine. <laughs> but <laughs> every week we spin the wheel to see if someone breaks out of space jail. Sorg, three weeks of spinning the wheel, three breakouts of space jail, yeah, it's a minimum security facility. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, um, we've got a lot of room in space jail. So, Tina, I feel like we need to put somebody else in space jail. So while you think about who you want to give a ticket to pass through the forbidden portal into space jail, I will tell everyone the six things that are on the uh, the wheel right now. Uh, we have uh, Randy Orton, Lacey Evans, we L we L C Bailey. Triple H and Ronda Rousey. Those six 
people slash things are off limits. And in addition, the seventh person slash thing, although I doubt Tina's going to put a thing into Space Joe, but we'll see. Uh, Tina, would you like to um, send someone away to Space Joe, please? I do, because it's such an easy option. Um, let's go ahead and send the dead man to Space Jail. Okay. Oh. The okay. Undertaker what? player? Okay. I totally thought you were going to say Goldberg. What no. if, other than The Undertaker, I'm like okay with all of those being in Space Jail? Good. But That's kind of the idea. Those uh, are fine. Yeah. It shouldn't cause too many inconveniences. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let everybody know, previously in Space Jail, um, Bobby Fish... John, oh, that sucks. John Cena and Enzo Amore, all three busted out uh, and are free and wandering the landscape. Oh, no. <laughs> Who knows where they'll show up mean Enzo's getting booked. We're definitely not. Um, no, all right, so I, in a moment. I, I, as long as I'm sitting here, if someone dares put him in a match, I will take him out immediately. <laughs> uh, so anyway, care. Sorg, in a moment, we will spin the wheel to see if someone escapes from mm-hmm. the space show. Mm-hmm. Don't let me forget. Okay. All right. I got a lot of things going on here. All right. Uh, Tina, reward mm-hmm. number two. Last year, uh, we stumbled upon something very fun. Uh, the first annual <laughs> Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble. Um, the nice thing about this is that if you put someone into the Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble, uh, they can still be used in another match during Mayhem Mania. So they can be booked twice on the, on the same card. So, and, you know, it's like, uh, it's like an indie show where you, uh, you, know, you send someone out there for the first match, you send them back, you put them under a mask, you send them back out. Um, like, okay. you, like Dan Housen. Then you pay them five bucks and you send them on their way. Right? Like who? Oh. Hot dog and handshake. I think that just hit home for some people. Anyway, here we go, Tina. Uh, you will choose the first entrant into the Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble 2. And believe me when I tell you, the rules for eligibility on this particular match are very loose. So feel free to have fun with this one. Go ahead. Um, again, I'm going to be hypocritical for a second because I just put in The Undertaker into Space Jail. So why not start it off with kind of like the originator rumble moments anyways and put in HBK Shawn Michaels. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, that's good because that'll be an easy graphic to make. Looking to do a mayhem. (laughs) That'll be an easy graphic. There you go. Thank you, Tina. A mayhem mania moment. (laughs) All right, Tina. (laughs) We must now take care of this. We must add an eighth match to this board. Oh. This is getting crowded. Yeah, go, and, well, okay. Go. All right, here we go. But, Tina, so, wait, wait. Are you spinning the wheel before that? Yeah, should I should spin, spin the wheel now. You should spin the I wheel should now. I should spin the wheel right now. Let's and then spin we the can wheel. go down then the match we'll list. book a match. Good uh, idea. There you go. go. Yeah, yeah. That's not good. There we go. Oh, God. He's, he's all in there. Uh, just keep going. Ignore the dog behind the curtain. Okay. Pay no attention to the dog. Let's spin the wheel and see if we can keep Space Jail secure for one week. Here we go. Come on, Randy. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, nobody. Whoa. All right. Space Joe remains secure. We kept the game in there. By hey, the we, we paid the guards this week. That's nice. That's good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right. No need to close the highways. No way to uh, activate the sirens. We're good. All right. Shawshank is secure for one week. All right. Space Joe. Good times. All right. Um, Tina, let's create yes. a match. Whoa. An eighth match for this seven match card. While you think about that, I'm going to recap the matches that are already created. Uh, the seven that we already have. Wait, what? Wow, that's crazy. I don't know why it's in the middle of the Why'd screen. You do that. So cool. I don't know how I did that. Way, it's like an over the shoulder. Wait, I'm going to... hold what on a second. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll. The mood is tense. All right. There we go. All right. Good time. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know why uh, it's like that. Here are the seven matches. <laughs> uh, Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley, created by Jordy, who just showed up last week. Big debut. Uh, next up, we have John Morrison versus Jordan Devlin versus Ricochet, created by Ron Starks. Hey. Umberto Carrillo versus Rey Mysterio versus Andrade, created by George the Referee. Sorry, I missed your last name, George, but you were... A lot of fun. Thank sure you. Sure draws. Dominic Dijakovic versus Walter versus Keith Lee, created by Bro Hemoth. Nikki Cross versus Piper Niven, created by Dave Podner. Edge versus Matt Riddle, created by Chad the Shad. And finally, Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley, created by Billy Johnson. 
So, you know, while you think about your match, I'm going to mention real quick before I forget this also. I promised this week we would reintroduce the one-time use only subtract option. Uh, usually when you make a move, Sorg, you either like, you can like kill a match entirely, kick that out, bring in another match with entirely new people. Uh, you can swap a single individual out for another single individual or even a team if you're feeling, you know, frisky like that. Uh, the point is we use are always either adding or taking out or adding. But since we have a lot of three-way matches, I'm going to put that option on the table. You only get one use of it, though. Once we use it one time, it's gone for the rest of Mayhem Mania. So subtract option is on the table. You can remove an individual from one of these three ways if you want. Or if another one gets created somewhere along the way, you can always add an extra person and do a make a two-way, a three-way, three-way, four-way, oh, et cetera, shit. et cetera. Let your imagination run wild, Sorg. Do it. Tina, Mother Dragon, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's get this party started. Okay. So you mentioned that um, in the existential universe um, that they couldn't have re- the wrestler couldn't wrestle for another organization, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So what if they just made a one-time appearance at a rival promotion? Just uh, one time. I mean, I'm flexible. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I had a couple of options. I was going to play with some new toys that was just recently signed. But after TakeOver, it kind of made me change my mind. So I'm thinking the EST of NXT, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bianca Belair, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, versus a person that doesn't really get enough credit, at least. And she's one of the baddest bitches out there. And that is the Phenom Jazz. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, I'll allow that. Yeah, she's not tied down Fuck. anymore. No, no, no. All right, that's good. That's good. I'll take that. Hot diggity daffodils, Tina. Wow. That's that's good. I knew Bianca yeah. Belair was going to find her way on the card this week, Sorg. I was just telling you before the show, remember? Mm-hmm. All right. Wow. All right. Good job, Tina. Um, before I thing. let you go, you've got one more duty to perform. Um, okay. We have five players this week. Uh, we have mm-hmm. Mad Mike making a triumphant return, I might add, to Mayhem Mania. Then Hopefully. we'll have Ron Starks. Then we'll have Sorgatron. Oh, I'm in. Then we'll have my wife. This is mainstream. <laughs> and then, batting cleanup, noted dog owner, Ziggy Heim. Yes. <laughs> noted in fifth. Oh, God. Tina. Please don't. Yes. One of those five individuals must receive punishment. Mm-hmm. As a reward to you, you get to punish others. See, it, 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 it works like that. So, you, um, well, first, do you, do you want to share? We, we've, we've collaborated on this, and mm-hmm. uh, we've decided that this week's punishment. Let's tell everyone what the punishment is first, and then Tina will decide who gets it. This week's punishment is you must use a WWE Hall of Famer if Tina chooses you. (laughs) Don't worry. Don't worry. I've got a list. All right? (laughs) Okay. Tina? Wow. Mm -hmm. You must choose which of these poor suckers, um, which of these four suckers, and Ziggy, um, will (laughs) receive punishment. (laughs) Um, well, that's actually quite easy. Ronnie Starks. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he did receive a dog. Fine. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Hey, that's good, Ronnie. You got a couple minutes to think it over. Uh, uh, let's get on with this. Tina, thank you very much. And congratulations again. And um, go Dragons. We're friends now for some reason. All right. Mad Mike. Ah, oh, I'm going first. It okay. is time to get down to business. Oh, boy. To make the move. Hunts. And please remember, we're trying to make the best WrestleMania card possible. Right. It's important right. to remind everyone that every once in a while. Okay, so I, I didn't know you were bringing back the subtract option. <laughs> that, oh, that. Uh, I told you that I was going to. Is, I promised. That tosses, that tosses a wrench. Yeah. Into into what I was thinking because you can make things right. Yeah, I I can. Mm-hmm. Like because initially I'm looking at that card. Yeah, and and our purpose is to make a better card than WrestleMania. Yeah, as it stands right now, we have an actual WrestleMania match on there. Yeah, we do. And I I, I feel like that can't stand. But in fairness to us, we made it first. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah, but I still feel like that can't stand. But at the same time, fuck Brohemoth. What? You say that now that he's gone. <laughs> I said that last week. 
<laughs> I'm in Beacon. He doesn't know where that is. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? All right, never mind. You <laughs> can't find me. He's, he's not stupid. Man. He's not, I don't know. I can't tell you about his geographic skills, sir. <laughs> he's got four he's, or five kids. He's, he's a very smart. smart. He doesn't know what Google Maps are. <laughs> he's got like 12 um, or 13 kids. He needs this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, jeez. Uh, Oh, He's in the man. chat room. <laughs> is he? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Yeah, really? No, he's not, he's not yet. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I hope he's listening because oh, he my. made a mistake last week. And as much as I love Dominic Dijakovic, Marcus Mann has a point. We have too many multi-man matches. Yeah, I see, We're, yeah, we I are, see you, Marcus, slagging on our matches in there. You, the door's open, are, man. Anytime you want to play. Matt, we're taking it back to what it should have been, to what even someone in the chat room, I forget his name, he said, man, Walter versus Keith Lee would be a hell of a match. And I'm like, you know what? You're fucking right it is. That's why I made it the first time. So we're taking Dijak out of that match, and it's back to where it should be. Walter versus Keith Lee. I agree with that. I think that's solid. There you go. There you go. Um, your point is taken, and your judgment is sound. Good job, Ben, Mike. Thank you. All right. Ronnie Starks, you must use a WWE Hall of Famer. Would you like me to offer you a list? Oh boy! Do you have the list <laughs> written down for me? I have um, it over here on my Ronnie, phone. Ronnie, right. Drew Carey. No, <laughs> right. Cleveland is not going to rock on this day, the sir. Current president of the United States. <laughs> if he gets stumped, I'll just start reading oh, them off to you. I mean, Dude, you're Drew not wrong. Versus, sword. Pete Drew Rose. Carey versus the Miz Pete versus Johnny Rose. Gargano for the pride of Cleveland. All right, please no help from the studio audience. Ronnie Starks must walk alone. <laughs> I walk alone. Burr, burr. All right, so. Ronnie, would you like a few names? Yeah, give me a few names that I can go with. Um, Brutus Beefcake. Mm -hmm. Devon Dudley. Honky Tonk Man. Coco Beware. Goldberg. Batista. Beth Phoenix. Booker T. Wait, does Batista count? He's not officially inducted. He's going yet. in. My eyes just lit okay. up because I had an idea. Mm -hmm. A point taken, though, Mike. The thought did cross my mind. No. Wait. He's not in the well. Can't really. Well, all right. Let me see here. Uh, Scott let's... Hall. <laughs> Scott Hall. Stevie China. Ray. China is in Ron play. Simmons. China is not in play. I no, it's Scott Hall. Though. We we can't bring I, them back. I forgot. Mike. I forgot for a hot second. China Lita. Is not Lita? In play. Mark Henry. Did I say that already? Rikishi. Lita. Trish. Um, Kurt Angle. Hacksaw Jim Wilson. Duggan. Jerry Corey Lawler, Wolf. that'll get the chat room hot. Oh, me thinking Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, Ted DiBiase, that Teddy might be asking Long. a little bit. Physically. Teddy Long, Ron Simmons. Uh, let's um. All right, let's do um. God, this is such a terrible choice by me. Bret Hart. Technically, you can put Bret Hart. <laughs> I mean, I could. They technically did it once. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm thinking. Sorry. Sorry, it's taking so long. Uh, let's... Jim Neidhart? Oh, no. <laughs> no, you can't do Jim. Why, why do I keep oh, saying no. that? <laughs> let's do. Um... Ron Starks must walk, 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 must walk alone. I am. I'm thinking. <laughs> don't, don't mind the walkthroughs that you right, do. Well, first of all, we're going to get rid of Lesnar and Lashley. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Thank you. I need it done. I didn't like it the first time. I didn't like it now. And we're going to you said Hall of Famer, correct? Yes. One who inhabits the Hall of Fame. All right. Um. Let's go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. You know, sorghum. Now might be a good time to mention that. Kurt Angle. We'll have a we'll Angle. have a deep dive into all of tonight's moves coming up. On I mean, uh, we can do uh, talking mayhem mania. We can a little do bit later. Kurt Angle versus Finn Balor. Yeah. Kurt uh, Angle versus Finn Balor. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit! All right. Yeah. Out of out of nowhere. All right. Good job. Wow. Angle. Wow. Versus. 
Yeah, that Bauer. was it. Is it the Raw and SmackDown Finn Balor that lost 17 times to Bobby Lashley in a row? Oh, be, uh, will it be France. mean, tattooed, married Finn Balor? It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. What? I never miss Finn Balor from NXT. By the way, take your shot, um, Ronnie. Ronnie, yeah. mm-hmm. um, you should sleep with both eyes open tonight because you just took away booking Finn Balor from Jen Carlin. She'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. I don't know about that. I've seen her when she's angry. Yeah, we'll survive, I think. Ronnie, I see her when she's angry all the time. Don't worry, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Marcus wow, Man, wow. stop slagging on the process, Marcus Man. I see you in the chat room. All right, Sorgatron. Jeez, 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 jeez. You are up, Tiger. Hold on, I, I was bringing the chat room. All right, I know what I, I know. Yeah, I know who I want. Hold that up in the camera because I got a cam- the other camera in the way. I gotta see who's here. I gotta got see this? who's here. We got what? Edge and Riddle. I'm gonna stay away from the ladies for now. I think the ladies' matches are fantastic. But we got Walter and Lee. We got Ray Andrade Humberto. Mm-hmm. Uh, got Devlin Morris. All right, all right. Uh, kill Humberto, Andrade, and Ray. Mm. Let's yep. get rid of. Uh, I'm with. Let's let's start eliminating these multi mans. Don't let Marcus Mann. No, no, I'm with you. I'm trips. with you, and I'm not. I feel like I've seen it like every week on on uh, in some form on Raw. That's yeah. fine. He's got a point. so, and I got it. I'm going to keep it Pittsburgh, and Elias is going in there, mm-hmm. and he's going to take on. Um, he's going to take <laughs> on. Letting you letting you finish there. Letting you letting you stew on that for a second. I want. There's this one I want. And I, but I want it to be a WrestleMania match. He's the one that you want. I believe this could be a fantastic WrestleMania match, it, or nay, Mayhem Mania match, mm. in my mind. Mm. And that would be Elias mm. and mm-hmm. Nakamura. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Nah. Check your switch. Go. Uh-huh. The Ziggy switch. It, it's under the uh, flag. It's under the logo. <laughs> Okay. Great job, Sorg. Okay. <laughs> no one appreciates Marcus. <laughs> the door is open anytime you want to come on down. Well, he is scheduled Try for uh, sooner or later. I, know, and I, do, I do appreciate tag team wrestling. I had to write a wrong, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had to write Let, a wrong. Let's see if my wife appreciates tag team wrestling. Okay. She used to. Uh, she used to. Your wife. Honey? How's it going, honey? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How oh, are you? I go. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. Okay, we're good. All right, honey. You must make a change to this card. What have you got in mind? In that <sighs> devious know. mind of yours. Oh, you know it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So can I, I, I take it out? You could take a match out and replace okay. it with another match. That could happen. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I Sorg, stay tuned after this for talking mayhem mania. Dog I, free I made, edition. I made a prediction in the chat. No, that's not true. On what Jen is going to book? No, I'm not going to do that. No. Do? Oh, I didn't. I didn't know you were still looking in the chat room. Okay then. I'm stalking. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready to pounce like a jungle that's, cat. That's, that's fair. Okay. Okay, I want. <clears throat> excuse me. I want Nikki Cross, mm-hmm. and then Nevin. Nevin, yeah. You want to get rid of that one? Aww. Yeah, get rid of that one. Okay. Goodbye, throaty promos. Goodbye, throaty promos. Was that is- wrong? Was that wrong? I used it for a title last week. So okay, did we get in trouble? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Nobody. I didn't get any. I didn't get any mail. Okay, guys. It's very Who gets mail anymore? Okay, anyway. Sorry. I put a picture of Becky Lynch. Freaking <laughs> pigeon, like pigeon flying to your door with a letter. Like, <laughs> I didn't really appreciate that. <laughs> put it in an accent. <laughs> All the guys booked. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm, Anyways, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Honey. Let's, let's get down to business here. What do you got? What do you got? Okay. This, this, this came to me during the takeover Sunday night. Uh-huh. And I want Sam Roberts. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Pat McAfee. Oh, boy. Pat McAfee. 
it, was in that a last year standing match. Sam Roberts versus Pat McAfee. Oh, yes. Jen. Jen. What the fuck? Jen, 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 why didn't you just book them both against Walter? Whoa. Walter's already on the card. I know. But you can still do it. Just add Sam. Like, no, honestly, no. I didn't want anyone to add to my match, but if you add Sam Roberts, I think I'd be cool with it. <laughs> Sam Roberts would die. Yes, that is the point. Good. That's the point. The point. <laughs> Oh, boy. I can't Good wait times. for I can't wait for Garza to see that he has to put those two in a graphic. This is not going to be too. We've done worse to him. Come on, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We we did. Didn't we ask for everyone in a suit? One? Yeah, we yeah, did. The, the, everyone in a suit. Because <laughs> it was and like then when we started booking like the characters from uh, Southpaw the one year too. We were doing <laughs> the sea monster versus Big Bartholomew, and we, and we literally got like got like cropped, pasted pictures with like zero effort graphic from Garza for that one. <laughs> He's sending us a message. All right. Honey, thank hey, you very much. Marza, I made it easy on you. You didn't even have to make a new graphic. I know. We could just bring that one back. Great. Um, okay. Honey, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a pleasant evening. If anybody messes with my match, I'll hunt you down and cut you. Um, okay, Ziggy, you're up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can I add a match? Yes, but you must remove one to add one. I don't know what to do. Hurt somebody's feelings. That's oh, usually what? the best option. Shit, because they're all pretty good. <laughs> Marcus, but... what do you say? <laughs> Marcus, all caps. Book the Miller Light Cat Fight Girls, you cowards. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you know what? Miller Light Cat Fight Girls hey, versus Hey Marcus. Hey Marcus. Hey, Marcus shit. You first. All right. <laughs> I have a good idea. Good, but like, okay, cool, thanks. But um. But I don't want to get rid of anyone. Mm. Like, mm. okay, mm. here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get rid of mm -hmm. Charlotte and Rhea. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Because yes. it, it's okay. happening. You're, about to, you're going to yeah. get tweeted. It's happening. Yes. Like, why get do it. I care? Yeah. I can make yeah. something way better. Yeah, uh -huh. totally. Because, Thank you, totally Ziggy. make something better. Because Absolutely. Thank you, I have a much better idea. Great. Now that Nikki Cross is off the card, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want Nikki Cross versus The Fiend. Okay. Oh, yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. yes. <laughs> Perfect. Ziggy, this is why you're my favorite guest on the show. I try my <laughs> That is perfect. As a proponent of someone who's tried to put Brock versus Asuka on this thing for <laughs> years now. Man, we pushed that boulder for I a long time. I want that shit. Yep. I like it. That's that, what we're looking oh. for. All Good right. stuff. So what do we got? All right. Let's, a lot let's of movement. Out. A lot of what? movement this week. What a slog this round was. Oh, my goodness. We were moving so well. Okay. Here we go. Um... <laughs> Kurt Angle versus Finn Balor, created by Ronnie Starks. I dig that, actually. We still have Jordan Devlin versus John Morrison versus Ricochet. We now have Elias versus Nakamura, created by Sorgi. We're back to Walter versus Keith Lee, thanks to Mad Mike. Sam Roberts versus Pat McAfee, created by <laughs> my wife. Uh, Edge versus Matt Riddle. We've got Nikki Cross versus The Fiend. Yes. Created by Ziggy, and we have Bianca Belair versus Jazz, created oh, by my God. Mother Dragon herself, Tina Keys. My uh, God. Okay, this is this is coming together. Garza is gonna love this. Matt, he's Matt, gonna love. Just, hey, we want to thank let's Garza shut for it down now. Let's just <laughs> no, shut no, no. it down now. Next this is week, the part. <laughs> next week, <laughs> more players, more fun. Uh, we'll be heading, this was round four. We're going to go eight rounds and then we're doing Patreon in the bank. That's when only Patreon subscribers uh, to the Wrestling Mayhem show get to come in and make really crazy moves. That's when we get into stipulations and special referees and, and toys and oh, gadgets and oh. gimmicks and fun stuff you like that. You know what's next yeah. week? Mm. Next week is the Hossman takeover. Oh, that's how oh. many Hossmen will there be? That would be four of them. Four Hossmen? Yes. That's perfect i only need one more person <laughs> that means i can do it from home next week yeah you might want to stay home <laughs> Ron, oh man it's gonna be crowded Matt, in here yeah. Matt, yeah. yeah 
Patreon on the bank is going to be on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, oh, my oh lucky day. that's going to be fun. Sorgatron Media's lucky day. It's going to be fantastic. Oh. So remember, friends. Beware the Ides of March, motherfucker. Longer <laughs> tenured Patreon subscribers get preferential treatment. So don't come rolling in at the last minute. Give the Podfather your money now. Wait, no, get in. Make your change. Make Mayhem Mania great. And um, we'll see you next week. Coming up, Jeez. talking Mayhem Mania. My That's guest, right. the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. All right. I guess uh, before we get into more trouble here, uh, what guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? And chat room as well, please. Oh, boy. What? Mm. So, I, learned, I learned one thing. I, I learned that I think every night that works in medieval times is an indie wrestler. <laughs> oh my god! I, yeah, uh, correct. Uh, <laughs> like I, I went to medieval times this weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, it's fantastic. If you've never been, I love it. I went to the one in you, Toronto. You, you must, you must go. Secondly, it's indie wrestling. It's ye old indie wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Ye old deathmatch wrestling. Ye old deathmatch. <laughs> yeah. yes. Ye yeah. old CZ double Z. Is there a run in by Jim Weaver? There's always a run in at medieval times. Isn't there, there is. I, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's absolutely a run in. He's not even e- supposed to be here. There's even, <laughs> there's even a ba- a battling authority figure. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like raw, like 200 BC. It's great. Jeez. I like, wish the king would walk in the room and all he hears, no chance in hell as he struts into the room. Like. <laughs> that, it, that would be great. But yeah, like that that's what I learned. I, I think every knight that worked in medieval times is an indie wrestler. It's possible. And if you are an indie wrestler and have also worked at medieval times, please come on the show. I have, a lot, oh, yeah. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> we should put that question out there. Email a, I'm an indie wrestler, and I would like to know how to work at medieval times. <laughs> <laughs> please open one in Pittsburgh. Hmm. Oh, God, yes. we don't get jobs there. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> it would be a bloodbath. I, I, could, I could see one of you running the dungeon. I'd be the jester, Me. I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, I'll be the, yeah. I'll be like. Can we franchise that, and then I will just that that'll just be a place for indie wrestlers to work yeah. during the week. That work out. We can make yes. skits of us like dressing up as like knights and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, Tina, what'd you learn? Oh, are you still here? She she just muted. Jen, what'd you learn? I learned that I really hate Sam Roberts. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, he's really digging into that, else. isn't he? He's that rough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's right. just not pleasant to look at or listen to. <laughs> wow. Worst <laughs> of both worlds. Jeez. He's gonna face you. Oh, punch. oh, and I and I learned that it's a very sad day in NXT for NXT no longer has a queen. Mm. Thank you, mm-hmm. Kathy Kelly. He's still in my he's still in my ring. He's still in my answer. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Matt. I don't know, it's okay. I got a backup. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorgi. Tina, are you back? Yes. Okay. What did you learn this week? Um Tina, what did you learn about Poppy? <laughs> <laughs> you saw Poppy <laughs> live. What did you learn about Poppy? What does Junior think of Poppy? Well, I didn't go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm no. injured, uh, so that's why I didn't go. Um, oh, no, I'm so sorry. Let's. Uh, so I learned that it's cool to get a high five from a wrestler, but if you have a ball head and he kisses your forehead, <laughs> that will just make your week. That was great. <laughs> that was so <laughs> funny. That is absolutely correct. That's fantastic, Ronnie. What'd you learn? Let's see here. What did I learn? Oh, abduction angles are not cool. <laughs> <laughs> just pushing your agenda. Matt, what was your backup? Um, as a tangent from what Mad Mike just mentioned. I was like, there I wasn't more to that, this right? This entire time, um, uh, Kathy Kelly was secretly the fifth member of the Undisputed Era. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ziggy, what would you learn? I learned that even during a beautiful a long wanted match 
like Finn Balor, Johnny Gargano, nothing can stop you from having to take your dog out to poop. <laughs> that was where I thought that was going. <laughs> what? Like in the middle of just me, like really invested in it, I'm like, dude, I have to take my dog out to poop. Here, here comes the finish, Mom. I got a shit. Literally. She <laughs> and there he goes, wrong. shamefully. I, I have had that same conversation with my dog. Where I'm just like, dude, can you wait for like the middle of the match? Exactly. Shut up. Can you wait for like three more minutes? And he's like pacing around, and I'm like, dude. I swear this is the finish. No, no, I swear this time it is. Yeah. Nothing, nothing in pro wrestling, no matter how much you love or want it, can stop your dog's bowel movements. (laughs) And that's what I've learned. I learned. I learned when just when I thought that we were uh, out of the woods on on certain things happening in in wrestling, uh, some promotions will just kind of go there. Uh, <laughs> you ain't wrong. What's that? You ain't wrong. <laughs> they're, they're the, I I saw a storyline. I don't want to get into it much on the show here, but you're gonna see it if you look at RWA's uh, website over the next couple of days. Uh, you'll notice it. Um, but uh, there is a a kind of touchy storyline. Uh, that's being uh, 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 taken on over there that uh, probably can only happen in, in RWA or certain states. But uh, but uh, keeping, we'll, we'll see how it rolls out and uh, kind of keeping people on their toes there. So we're just like, hmm, okay, this is happening. So by the way, I get no heads up on any of this. Hey, like, apparently neither do I. When so. it rolls out in the ring, that's when I find out things are happening. And I was like, Oh. It's okay. We rarely get heads oh, off on yeah, it yeah, yeah, So this is universal. Okay. Basically, we get to the building. Hey, you're doing this today. I'm like, uh, yeah. no, but okay. Hey, you're about to get murdered in front of 30,000 people. Oh, what? <laughs> no, more like 10. <laughs> 10 people? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. there, there, there was that time they wanted me to do a first blood match in front of 10 people. What? <laughs> no, thank you. Whoa. I said, I said, fuck off. I watched a blood match in front of 10 people. Yeah. Or, yeah well, well, I was one of the 10 people. Like, you were one yes, of the same I was people? one of the. There were literally I counted sixteen people that weren't the wrestlers in the ring, yeah. and I think most of them were um like girlfriends and kids of the wrestlers. Yeah, let me bleed for ten people. That's a great idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and the guy and next to me were the only three dollars. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's a lot of blood for. Yeah, I yeah. love the business, but not that much. Yeah, California's wild, man. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> California! <laughs> fucking California, guys. Uh, oh, hey, what did Ozzy learn? <laughs> wow that's that's some deep shit gonna... I, I learned what? that um my favorite wrestler is Buddhist the Barber Beefcake <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> that's did not expect that all right all right guys thank you so much wrestling man I'm sure they missed something did I learn something? No, I did. Yes. Did you learn anything? I, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I never did. learn anything. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Mad Mike. Thank you, Jen, out there. How was? Did you go to the Dragons game already? Was that? Did I cut? No, I haven't gotten it. Um, it's actually this upcoming weekend. It's upcoming weekend. Yes. Let us know how that XFL goes. I, I hear they're doing very well. Uh, they won their last game. It was pretty cool. Nice, nice. Thank you, uh, Ronnie Starks. Good guys. Good guys. We're good guys coming up uh, in uh, the coming week Saturday, or so. This Saturday, we're going out to Real Action Pro Wrestling in Ooh, Ohio. Nice. We are in a number one contenders match for the tag titles. So, yeah. Here's hoping we win that shit. Eh? Good guys. Good guys. I'm a mainstream <laughs> match. Of course, presider of Mayhem Mania. Stay tuned for Talking Mayhem, talking Mayhem Mania. And Ziggy. Ziggy yeah. Heim. And Ozzy Heim. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you for the pup date. Your of dog course. was sleepy. Sorry that you got my dog beat on your floor. <laughs> 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 and and the, the studio has been christened. Um, there God you go. bless. God bless. Uh, God bless. Uh, what's going on with you? Where, where, where are you showing up with uh, people should know about? Um, On the internet. Follow me on Twitter. I'm very funny. Um, And then. <laughs> very poignant. I'm very funny. And then. um. I will be undisclosed in Ohio this weekend. And then following that, I'll be at Rise and also various other places. I'm just living. 
Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there I were visuals. Know. There were visuals if you're on audio there. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, chat room. You guys have been awesome as usual. Uh, and uh, thank you for joining us here. And again, you can join us in the chat room on Facebook Live every Tuesday at n- around 9 p.m. Eastern time until God knows when. Oof, that's the time. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> check out everything. Uh, check out our interview with PB Smooth. Check out other interviews popping up on the IndieWrestling.us Facebook page uh, this week with Miles Monroe and Tad Jarvis. Uh, and I believe this Sunday we're going to have Drake Braddock live. And, of course, if you subscribe to Indie Mayhem Show on your favorite podcast app, uh, all of those will be rolling out to you in the coming weeks as well so you don't miss a thing. Um, again, Four Hossman will be here next week, and we have plenty of guests uh, on through March. So go check out the Wrestling oh. Mayhem Show Facebook page for more on that. Um, and Sorg, mm-hmm. Sorg, on our social medias will be the final LEGO update. The final LEGO update coming out. I mean, not the final, the final Hogwarts one. Yes, the final Hogwarts one, because I finished it, but I can't maneuver my laptop around to show everyone. Yes, it's too big for the internet. It's massive. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media. Hola, amigos. Soy El Gran Azul, Wrestling Mayhem Show, numero uno. Bienvenido, 701 Club. Hey, guys, it's the Country Hammer, Jamie Jameson, and I'm here to congratulate Sorgatron Media and the Wrestling Mayhem Show on reaching 700 episodes. That's badass, guys. Keep killing what you're doing, and welcome to the 700th Club.